this situation, I marinated the chicken overnight in a mixture of curry paste, two different types of curry powder, Malaysian and East Indian, uh, pulverized garlic, salt, pepper, lemon juice, and my yogurt. And that went overnight. And then in my batter, my dry batter, which usually is some sort of an Old Bay or something like that, which I love, I used a touch of Old Bay just to give that to the you know Black American ancestors. And then I used flour and the, my two types of curry powder as well, some pulverized granulated garlic is a good thing to have as well. And then I just went a little bit with the, uh, the spices that I wanted. I wanted that bright, fresh flavor that you get from a lemon pepper, so I used a little bit of lemon pepper, sea salt, and extra turmeric. And that's what the dredge is. So first, you're doing the wet dredge with your pulverized garlic and your different spices. Then you're layering up on those flavors one more time with flour, and this time all the spices are dry. Curry, lemon pepper, uh, garlic and salt and pepper and then I took them out of that you know kind of yogurty marinade and I threw them into the flour and this is what we ended up with so the other note I want to make about this is that generally in East Indian food they serve a side dish called raita and the dish is essentially yogurt with something in it raita can be as simple as yogurt with a little bit of fried spices and oil it can have cucumber, it can have sofrito, it can have sofrito meaning cilantro because they use a lot of cilantro. So what I did, because they are the exact same spice structure, is I used my sofrito, which can be found in an Indian restaurant in a small dish next to most of the, most of the main courses, and I mixed it with my lovely yogurt. And what you get in the end is a nice cooling, like a nice cooling offset for the spiciness of the chicken. Right. And so, this is the finished curry fried chicken with our raita dipping sauce and our cumin lime salad. Mm -hmm.